was here at 5.30 in the morning. I got one last workout here, and uh, this is where I was when I heard the report on conditions of, of the fire. At that point, the fire was 10 acres in a remote area approximately 10 to 12 miles east of here. I had no idea that it was going to be the most destructive fire in the state's history. At this point, Clark Road turns into uh, five lanes. All five lanes, there was traffic coming downhill. I had to drive on the sidewalks, and these buildings were burning, trees were torching out, burning. It was about 10 o'clock in the morning, but it was as dark as midnight. The only light that there was was the buildings and the vegetation burning. It was just, just a surreal conditions. It's one thing to, to, to lose a house and everything I own, but the most difficult part is just thinking about the life we've had here in town, life we've had here. Bringing my son home from the hospital from when he was born 16 years ago. Memories like that. I'm here today to uh, receive a, a special assistance and gift from uh, the Suchi organization. As firefighters, we, we are the ones who, who give assistance, so it's difficult to, uh, to accept assistance from other people. She flew here from Seattle yesterday um, to volunteer her own time, and it's all on her own cost. She's paid her own flight, and she's paying her own hotels. It's amazing that people care. It's devastated. It's going to be different. But uh, paradise is still home.